Hey guys, Terry here. To all you new people, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk Apex Legends. Not just because it's a new battle royale game, but because it's a battle royale that I actually enjoy quite a lot. Respawn Entertainment have done an amazing job with the game, and they really deserve all the best from the community. But, let's talk about what I really wanted to. Apex Legends launched worldwide on February 5th, 2019, and has amassed 25 million downloads in just under a week. And for good reason. The game has taken on a new approach on the battle royale genre, and I must say that their formula works. But even though the game has gained a massive following, it doesn't come without its problems, and with my 60 hours into the game, I think I got something interesting to add. In this video, I want to break down a couple of things Apex Legends for sure need to fix, a couple of new features that will work great with the game, and what could change here and there. You know, small welcoming changes, but decide for yourself and let me know what you think about it in the comments below. So let's get started with the video, and remember, if you like it, please consider subscribing. My goal is a thousand subs before 2019 ends. Add a friend button. I've been playing a ton of matches, and I've won a ton. I've found people that played like gods and were really social. I've found people that love to talk and just have an awesome experience together. And when you win with people like these, you most likely would love to play with them again. The game needs an add a friend button when the match is over. Now I have to remember the name of the guy, press shift F1 and add him, and if there are more, it's a hassle. Would be much easier with just a button. Connection issues. Ever played a game and you're just about to win when suddenly you get the lovely theme music and see the character ready screen? It happens to all of us, some more than others and I've been lucky, but it is there. They need to fix the random disconnect issues that are harassing every person in the game right now. Respawn have noticed the issue and are currently working on fixing the problem, but let's see how long it takes them. Ammo on teammate portraits. A kind soul on reddit shared one of the greatest ideas that are overlooked by most of the community I think. Imagine being able to see your friend's ammunition but not like in numbers but what kind of ammo they are currently using with their current loadout. It would make for a much better teamwork experience and it wouldn't take a lot of time to implement and most importantly of all you wouldn't run around saying hey guys if you see some shotgun ammo let me know. So please respawn, hear us out. Wall running. I played a lot of Titanfall 1 and I loved it, until the Titans hit the battleground. It was kind of a bummer for me because I really loved the multiplayer aspect of the game but Titans kinda killed it for me. Anyway, I played it a lot and loved it, but I think one thing Apex Legends could adapt from the game alone is wall running. I remember when I first booted up Apex Legends and wanted to wall run but was enormously disappointed that I didn't pour it over the feature. It is so simple yet so complex and would make for some really interesting firefights. Another idea would be double jump, but I think that would throw off how the game currently works. But definitely wall running. But yeah, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Kill cam. Winning in this game is satisfying in itself, but I think it could do some work. Instead of just showing you and your two teammates after a win, a last kill cam would be awesome made a nice 360 and did a flashy grenade or some other shit. I would love to see a last kill of the game feature, and then when the last kill cam is over, it then switches over to what we have now. Rewards after winning. Talk about winning. I would love to see one or two options of items when winning. Imagine you win, after the kill cam etc, you're able to choose from two items. One is maybe an experience booster and another is an apex crate. It could be different every game, but something like it. Winning is nice sure, but winning and then getting a little reward for that extra clap on the shoulder would work out nicely I think. But let's see what happens in the future. Maybe they'll add it, maybe not. Time will tell. Levels Currently you are limited to level 100. I had hoped when the game first released that you could level up infinitely, but sadly not. But I do have a plan though. Prestiging. Imagine once you reach level 100, you get rewarded with 3 apex chests and you are able to prestige to let's just say rank 2 and then go all the way up to rank 10. Of course instead of ranks it could have names, but just having the ability to keep ranking up would be very nice. And I think a lot of people would agree on this, but let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Battle 
bit of voice chat. Simple as that. It sounds like Counter Strike Source all over again. It needs to be better, it's ear deafening when someone talks, it's a simple but really neat feature. Solos and duos kinda explains itself really. It is highly needed and a lot of people seem to agree. But what I do think should not be touched is the max amount. 3 is fine and 3 is enough. 4 and 5 and the game would be Batman vs Superman and we don't need that. New maps and weapons. I've heard it's coming. The map we're currently playing on also has its own name and I do hope in the future we get a list to choose between which map or it randomly selects the map for us so it keeps it mixed up without really touching the player numbers and we don't have favorite maps. While talking maps I personally really hope we see a snow map with big glaciers and mountains etc. Would be very nice and while we are in the subject of new maps I'd like to put on top of that animals. And now you might wonder and say to yourself animals. Well, what I mean is not hostile animals, but take a snowy map for an example. While there's the usual buildings and trees and stuff, why not throw in a herd of mammoths? Thinking about using those for cover, but they can still be killed with enough shots, and even while they're dead, they still provide some form of cover. In other maps, it could be moving trains. I think a lot of battle royale maps include too many stationary objects, so it would be nice to see some twists and maybe add a herd of animals or just a couple of here and there for the cover, or scenery, but yeah. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Teammates downed portraits needs fixing. Pretty much says itself. It's annoying as hell when you need to shoot someone and your teammate's portrait is in the way. It happens way too often for me and I see it happening a lot with other people as well. So please fix and respawn. Thank you. And that my friends concludes that for this video. If you liked it, please hit that subscribe button, let me know what you think about the features in the comments below. I'm still a little sick, but hopefully that will be over very soon. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.